Welcome to another video in a series by the brilliant expat Taffy, where I'm going to prove to all of you that the spacesuits they used in Apollo were totally unsuitable to support life in space or on the moon. I'm going to prove to you that they were nothing more than theatre costumes. And lots of evidence coming up to prove that. Now folks, what I'm going to be proving to all of you in this series of videos is these points coming up. 1. Unsuitable 2. Non-inflatable Contained fake components And folks, contained numerous whistleblowers clues telling us they were fake And continuous redesign now, folks, I'm going to be proving to all of you that these spacesuits, they claim, took men to the moon in the 60s and 70s, were totally unsuitable to support life in space or on the moon, and they were nothing but a catalogue of errors. They found numerous difficulties with them in the start, and they had to make alterations. And let me tell you folks, they not only made alterations years ago, they're still making alterations to them today. Because people today can see, hey, looking back at that, that wouldn't work. Oh, so we got to alter it. They're trying to present a suit today that would have worked in 69. Now you don't design a suit 50 years after they supposed to used it successfully. As far as these alterations for mistakes are concerned, let's take a look at the very first one, shall we? The first of the spacesuits made to this photo here. Yes, you all recognize this one. The famous Buzz Aldrin photo that's supposed to be taken on the moon. Just remember, this is a photo that the brilliant expat Tappy proved but there was at least 15 faults in this, proving it to be fake, and was taken here on the Earth inside a massive hangar. Schematic drawing of the first spacesuit design, folks, and I numbered some very important points on it. At the top, you can see what I've marked number one. It's got there what they claim to be a sunglasses pocket. Now, how the hell is an astronaut going to put on a pair of sunglasses when he's got a big massive helmet? And what would an astronaut require sunglasses for if he'd got a darkened visor on the helmet? Now, one nutter, Brian Pop Robson, says that the helmet was big enough he could have put the glasses on inside the helmet. But then you'd be looking through dark sunglasses and then dark visor. He wouldn't see anything on the moon at all, would he? A ridiculous item that they later dropped. There's the first alteration, folks. Now, the next thing I've got marked number two there, it says it's a radio switch. Well, have any of you ever seen any astronaut in any of the movies touching a button on his chest when he's about to talk? No, they never used such a switch. They just talked. So there's another thing that's useless. Now, folks, look at the other two hose pipes, marked three and four. Number four, they've got marked oxygen in. That's the bottom red one. And the next one up, which would be blue, as you'll see from other diagrams, mark number three, they've got oxygen out. Now, you can imagine oxygen going into the suit, can't you? Because the astronaut needs oxygen to survive. So why on earth would they want to take oxygen out of the suit? Now that doesn't make sense to me. And it didn't make sense to somebody else because they eventually changed the design, folks. They done away with the oxygen out. That's the first alteration. But then that left them with a problem. What are they going to do with port four? It's now open. Now, folks, the earlier diagram I showed you, where they removed who's number four, here it is here, 
They replaced that with this item on the left that they called a purge valve. Or in another diagram, it's called a pressure regulating valve. Okay, they placed that in there. Only this one you see here, this purge valve, is not the original from the 1960s. It's a modified one with Photoshop to hide another error. And you'll see what that error is now. And here it is, folks, on the famous Buzz Aldrin photo. Okay, folks, now there is the first big mistake they made with these suits. The initial design, nobody gave any thought at all to pressure control. Nobody at all. There is no facility on the suit for pressure control, initially. And don't say I got it wrong, it's there in front of you, they changed it. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So why are they fixing it? Why have they fitted this purge valve? The next two points to consider with this manual purge valve is 1. When does he operate it? And 2. For how long? When does he pull it? And when does he let it go? Now. There you are folks, you can see on this astronaut's right wrist here a blue object, semicircular glass, that's supposed to be the pressure gauge. It's on the end of the blue arrow I did soon. Okay folks, something pretty interesting I want to put in by here now. What I done, I asked a NASA shell, Brian Popcroft, a certain question. Now, do you know what that question was folks? I said, Bunny? You've seen these small pressure gauges, haven't you? Like the size of a, about the size of a pen. I said, what if I told you that I took one of them pressure gauges and put it on the tread of a tire on my car and failed to get a reading and I said, hey, Bunny, it's not showing any pressure. What would be your answer to me, Bunny? I just remember he wouldn't answer this initially, but he was worried about others answering it. He said, if you've done that, you're stupid. I'd say you need lessons on how to take the pressure of a tire. Now you can go and tell NASA that they need some lessons how to take the pressure of a spacesuit. Because these gauges, they are fitting to the arms of these astronauts. They have not got access to the air inside the suit. They're just placed on the outside like a wristwatch. They cannot work. It measures the difference between inside and outside. And the same would have to be for these pressure gauges on these astronauts. They would have to have access to the air outside and the air inside the suit. They have not got that. There is not one spacesuit showing a hole through the arm. And that's the only way they will work. Now, folks, I want you to take a look at the next photo coming up. It was taken in the 60s. But I want you to have a good look at it and see if you can spot something that doesn't add up. See if you can spot something odd from what I've given you so far. See if you can spot something that's out of place with this photo. What date do you think this photo is from? It could have been before July 69 where they went or it could be after. How many of you can spot any clues in this photo telling us when it was taken? Famous three from Apollo 11. And that photo, folks, it contains a very serious anomaly. And I would say it's a whistleblower's clue. There you are, folks. Take a look at it. Bottom left of our photo, Neil Armstrong. He hasn't got a purge valve. He's still got the old system of an oxygen in. But if you look at the three of these astronauts, each of them and you can see the square box around it, they've all had a pressure gauge composited onto their arms. There you are, folks. A close-up view for you all to see. This photo of Neil Armstrong was taken prior to them incorporating the purge valve. That port there, that red port, it hasn't got the purge valve, it's got the original incoming oxygen pipe. But, as shown with the blue arrow, what the whistleblowers have done there, they've composited 
a pressure gauge onto an old folder. Look at the pink square around it. That's been composited in in a later date. Now, why would they want a pressure gauge before they even invented the purge valve? Do you want any more proof of fakery than that? Now, I've been showing that these gauges have been fitted to suits using compositing, and I'm showing you with Photoshop after 89. Now this idiot, Pop Robson, started shouting and bawling, Hey, you stupid idiot, photoshopping doesn't mean the photo being altered, you stupid idiot. It's just to digitise the photo to put it on the net. To which, I assured him that's a load of nonsense. I've displayed a photo of Abe Lincoln, never been photoshopped, it's on the net. I've displayed a photo of my wife when she was 19, winning a beauty queen contest in Thailand, black and white. All I done was put the black and white paper photo in my scanner, scanned it to computer, and I put it on one of my videos. It's never been near Photoshop. Now, watch for this photo coming up, and see what you think of this Brian Pop Robinson's stupid statement that Photoshop doesn't mean the photo has been altered. Take a look at this photo coming up, folks. Here you are, folks, the famous three. The Apollo 11 crew. Collins, Armstrong, and Buzz Aldrin. And they're standing by the LEM they used for training. Obvious that was a genuine photo taken around about the 1960s to 70s, isn't it? There you are, folks. There's that photo of the famous three. And as you can see, it's been Adobe Photoshopped. Now, why would this be Adobe Photoshopped? Well, let me give you a closer look at it. There you are, folks. That's what's been done. The famous three here have had pressure gauges fitted to their arm. See what I mean? There's got to be a reason for them using Photoshop. That's the only thing that's been altered on these photos. Now, strange thing about one on the left is Collins. He was supposed to be in the command module. He didn't have a purge valve, so why would he need a pressure gauge at all? He wasn't on the moon, according to them. Now, folks, another thing to notice here, and it's got to be a whistleblower's clue. According to Pop Robson, all the suits were the same. Well, anyone tell me why Collins on the left here has got a blue pressure gauge? Why Armstrong has got a white one? And why has Buzz Aldrin got a blue one? They should be all the same. That's got to be a whistleblower's clue, folks. Now, folks, all these alterations to these photos I've told you dozens of times before, there's whistleblowers' clues involved. Somebody making these photos are trying to tell us, hey, just remember, they never went to the moon, these photos are fake, we faked them here on the earth, and here's the evidence. They are leaving clues in the photos to tell us, folks, and here's a good one coming up. Now, not the next photo, but the photo after. I've got to show you one photo first from the nutter, Brian Pop. Robson, take a look at this photo coming up. Okay, folks, remember me telling you that Brian Pop Robson stated he'd never seen or heard of these pressure gauges before? Well, take a look at this photo. Here's a photo he gave me to say, look, there's a pressure gauge by there on the arm. What an idiot. Just look at the left arm by there and see that round object. And I'll show you a closer look at it. Here's what that idiot, Brian Pop Robson, a stupid Englishman, claims is a pressure gauge. Can any of you see a dial on that? Now, what does that look like to you, folks? I tell you what it looks like to me. With the holes around it, it looks like a vent of some kind. I'm willing to bet that that is a vent off the camshaft gasket on a petrol engine or even a diesel engine. It's a vent for the top of an engine. As I told you, you'll see fake fittings on these astronauts. That is definitely not a pressure gauge. 
And why would they have a vent on a suit? Because it's going to have an opening that's going to lose pressure for the suit. A fake object just added on for decoration, folks. Keep this blue object in mind because I've got a very big surprise for you a bit later on. You're going to be laughing your knackers off. Okay, folks, what you're going to see with the next photo coming up is evidence of fakery with these pressure gauges. You're going to see evidence of fakery from photoshopping and you're going to see evidence of whistleblowers clues. Here you are folks, take a good look at this photo here. Steady it folks, take a good look at it. You seen that photo there folks? Now what does it tell you? That photo gives you a number of clues. Now here's what it tells me. One, that was a genuine photo taken around about 1969 or 70. It was a genuine photo, okay? And if it was a genuine photo taken with a film camera, it should never have been needed to be photoshopped. But what has happened in that is, after 89, somebody copied and pasted in the fake pressure gauges on the arms. Here's that photo, and as you can see, it's been photoshopped and photoshopped in the year 2014. Photoshopping doesn't mean the photo's been altered. It means that the photo was simply digitized to go on the net. Well, they took a long time to get it on the net, didn't they? They had to wait for 2014, considering they went 50 years earlier. Okay, folks, take a look at this one. AP12-569-55362. Now, what we've got here is supposed to be Alan Bean and his mate training. Looks a good photo, doesn't it? Notice there's no crosshairs. Now, what we've got here is information for an English nutcase, Brian Pop Robson, showing that this photo with Alan Bean training has been photoshopped. There it is in front of you. Now, folks, this idiot otherwise known on YouTube as Brian Pop Robson, insists 100% that photoshopped photos are not altered. They're only photoshopped to be digitized, to go on the net, as far as that idiot is concerned. Well, let's take a close look at this photo, shall we? If you look at the right arms of both these astronauts, you can clearly see a distinct pressure gauge placed on their wrist, just like a wristwatch. There you can see, on Alan Bean's right wrist, clear as day, that so-called pressure gauge and a semicircular glass. You can even see a hand on it. Now, remember what I told you? There'd be whistleblower's clues? Well, look at his left hand. Just what the hell have he got on his tip of his finger? He's got a silver sleeve. First I thought that was a sewing thimble, but as Bertie Slack pointed out, it's a cover for a core plug. Now why the heck would that be on his finger, folks? That's Jeff definitely got to be a whistleblower's clue. Here you are, folks. Here's that factory where they made the suits. You can see a lady there, she's busy. And behind her, a row of suits hanging from coat hangers. One thing I want you to notice there is look at all those dark objects on the arms of the suits. Now, what you'll see, what they are in the next photo is somebody have tried to composite objects on there to resemble the pressure gauges. Take a look at the next photo coming up. There you are, folks. Just look at that. I bet the first time this photo was ever taken, none of those composited objects were there. This is them trying to cover their tracks by saying, oh, there you are, the suits here had pressure gauges on them. But as you can see, they don't resemble the nice blue square semicircular pressure gauges you have seen. They're completely different. That's because these were added 
long before somebody came up with that new blue design. And another thing to note here, folks, all these pretend gauges are all on the left arm. Okay, folks, take a look at this next photo coming up. It's a combination of two photos. One, I just took off the net showing a pressure gauge fitted onto a football. The other is NASA's wrist pressure gauge. Now, I put a question to Paul Patton. I said, if I took a pressure gauge and put it on the top of a, a tire on the tread, why couldn't I get a reading? He said, if you've done that, you need lessons on how to take the pressure from a tire. To which I said, good, I agree. I'd be stupid to try it. So why are NASA doing exactly the same? Because you look at the football on the right. It's got a hole in it. It's got a screwed valve in it. And the pressure gauge can be screwed into that valve. The pressure gauge has got to have access to the air inside the ball. But if you look at NASA's pressure gauge on the astronaut's wrist in the left photo, you will see there is no access from that pressure gauge to the inside of the suit. There you are, folks. There's the proof 100% that those pressure gauges are fake. They are impossible to give any reading between the pressure outside the suit and the pressure inside the suit if they've only got access to the pressure outside the suit. If they haven't got access to the pressure inside the suit, it's impossible for them to work. And there you are, there's a dial gauge on the right on a football showing how it can be done. It's got access to the air inside the ball, folks. The other one is fake. Take it down to any tire service, a photo of this, and ask any tire expert if they can see how that pressure gauge can work. It's impossible. If that pressure gauge is fake, then the purge valve is fake. They go together. You can't have one without the other. The suits are fake, folks. They are nothing more than theatre costumes. Okay, look at this photo. One of their spacesuits, it's marked as NASA 1973. There you are, folks, a cropped section of his right arm and wrist. As you can see, no hole and no gauge. Well, look what we've got here, folks. Some clippings from an Adam Savage video showing Neil Armstrong's original suit. Yes, folks, there it is, Neil Armstrong's original suit on display today. There you are, folks, a screenshot from an Adam Savage video showing Neil Armstrong's preserved suit today. And there you are today, folks, Neil Armstrong's suit preserved. And as you can see, in his right arm, no hole to accommodate a pressure gauge and no pressure gauge. And the bottom arrow showing no purge valve whatsoever. Or they're going to say, ah, ah, yeah, they were removed just to preserve it. Now, folks, while some missions 16 and 17 showed the pressure gauges on the left arm, just remember, Buzz Aldrin, for Apollo 11, he had it on the right arm. But you can also see the left arm here. There is no pressure gauge on the left arm either. And here you are, Neil Armstrong suit again, as you've seen from the start of the video. No hole and no pressure gauge on the right arm, folks. 100% fake. Okay, folks, take a look at this photo here. AS 16-106-17340. Here's a special for all the YouTubers in England. All the YouTubers in England who can see what a stupid idiot this Brian Pop Robson is. He states, Photoshop doesn't mean the photo is fake, it doesn't mean the photo is altered. It only means it's been digitized. Well, I'm going to show you with this photo what a stupid, mentally insane idiot he is. As you can see here, it's been photoshopped. 
and it's got some very good clues as far as the pressure gauges we've been dealing with. Now, what I can tell you is this is 16, and as I just told you, the pressure gauge is on the left arm, which it is on here. It's surprising how this astronaut hasn't got a right hand. He hasn't got a right hand at all. No right hand glove, folks. That rake is just tied on with a crepe bandage. Well, this Apollo 16 astronaut has got what appears to be a pressure gauge on his left arm. He hasn't got a right hand glove. And let me show you, there's other major errors. Way up on the hill, you've got a rover up there and it hasn't got four wheels. It's just got one wheel between the back and the front. It hasn't got a back wheel and a front wheel. It's just got a wheel in the center. Okay, folks, that wraps it up for this video. Watch for future videos where we'll be discussing other aspects of these fake Apollo suits. We'll be discussing the material used and whether they could be inflated or not. I'm going to prove to you it's impossible for them to be inflated, which means it's impossible for them to be used on the moon. Ooh.